to think that I'm, this is the last year into my 20s, 29. Next year I'll be 30. It's also crazy that just the beginning of this year, I asked myself a question, what's one of your biggest fears in life? I had two answers and one of them was getting older. Just the thought of getting older, even me turning 30 in two years really scares me. Um, like I'm happy about the knowledge that we get as we get older, but the thought of me like physically, my body aging and not being able to do the things that I used to be able to do really scares me. And it, to be able to be, to for your body to be brittle like that and just to see like my family, my dog, things like that, to see them age, it's scary. It's really scary. So that's one of my biggest fears. Um, sometimes I think the biggest thing that I'm afraid of is what if I don't achieve everything that I want to do? What if there's, what if I don't leave behind a legacy? What if I don't make a change? That's truly the biggest part that I got, I was scared of. I don't want to get older. I want to stay young. I want to stay healthy the way I am right now. I'm afraid of getting brittle and I'm afraid of losing my memory. All these beautiful things that happen around me. I already have that problem of not being able to remember the simplest things, but I know that I remember the things that matter, you know. And now that I'm 29, it's crazy that I'm okay with getting older. I'm I'm okay with it. I'm slowly learning that with age comes knowledge, and with that knowledge, you have the power to do so many things. You have the power to change. You have the power to be something greater. You have a power to create change, to share your knowledge because the knowledge that you have is knowledge that other people don't have. They're your experiences and your experience are, are yours and yours alone. Yeah. 29 has definitely been a crazy year. It's been full of a lot of ups, downs, tears, wins, successes, failures, and that's, that's life. That's how it's supposed to be, and that's okay. That's what makes us human, and that's what makes this journey so worth it, because it's a learning process, and I've loved it. I've learned to love it. Didn't like it before. I remember being younger, I wanted things to happen now. I wanted to have it right away. But now I'm okay with letting things just go, just happen, you know. Just let life live its course. Looking back at 29, I wanted to reflect on some of the things. I opened up my business, I finally opened up my videography business and things are going amazing it's to the point where now I'm able to choose the clients that I want that I want to serve I'm able to create for other people and make these memories that I always wanted for myself because I never had these type of things growing up being a child of four the youngest of four I'm sure some of you guys can relate that as how can I say this it's usually the oldest that has most of the pictures you know most of the memories of them and things like that because your parents they're new parents they're wanting to document everything and then as you get older as you have more kids and stuff like that I think life just gets the best of you you forget to capture those little moments and things like that and unfortunately, being the youngest, I experienced that. So that's why now I just, I love taking my camera out and just filming everything and everything possible. Yeah. 
I'm very grateful for everyone who's ever supported me in my life. Whether they were good or bad things, um, there are always lessons and always learn from them. Maybe not right away, but definitely learn from them. And yeah. This year for my birthday, we did so many. <laughs> this year for my birthday was kind of different. I mean, we're in COVID right now and Oddly enough, it was different, but not that different, even going, despite going through COVID-19 and everything like that. Um, I remember this year, yesterday or over the weekend, I told Ryan, I was like, you're not having your friends over, right? Because I'm realizing the older I get, the more I just want to spend time alone in solitude in places like this, you know, just listening to the natural sounds around you and just taking it all in um i truly love it and i that's how i've been wanting to spend my birthday is just disconnecting you know just disconnecting from everything that we're constantly around and just living and living a simpler life and i love that and i want to do that and i that's something i want to do in the future I know it's in my cards and I know it's going to happen. I just need to be patient for the right time. But with all that said and done, the last two years I have been able to, you know, go camping at a cabin with some friends and Ryan, people that are close to me. And I've been able to share that experience with them and it's been great. And it's been nice to be able to disconnect and celebrate another year of life that way unfortunately this year i didn't get to do that um things just didn't plan out the way i wanted it to but i got to spend it in a great way i spent it the friday i spent or saturday um i hung out with my aunt we went and ate some an early dinner together then we went shopping got some christmas shopping done and i came home to a surprise from ryan with all my friends um i had a cake made by my cousin melvin and it was delicious it was like peanut butter with kit kats and all this yummy stuff um i had family over and my family came over and we made gingerbread houses and men together you know what, <laughs> if you're gonna do gingerbread houses, don't buy those kits, legit just buy graham crackers. Way cheaper and just as much fun. Um, we still have so much left over that I'm just gonna bring it to whatever Christmas party we end up having this year and we're just gonna do, I figured that's another way to just get rid of it and have add, add some extra fun to all the festivities, you know. And after that, um, Sunday we just relaxed which was definitely really nice and then Monday I asked for the day off and I asked for today yesterday and today off for my birthday and yesterday for my actual birthday um, we went around took pictures um, I flew my drone out it was snowing it was beautiful we went to lunch then we just hung out my fam, my mom, parents came over. Alex came over, and we just hung out, and that was it. And then today, I'm here talking to you guys, reflecting on this past year, this year's birthday celebration, and everything. And I just wanted to say thank you all. I just want to say this is 29, and I'm excited for what's what's to come and I hope you guys are too